Welcome back, everyone, to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog Cross Country. And with us, head coach Jared Kelsch. And Jared, uh, welcome to the show, and, and welcome back to Ferris State University. Thank you for having me, Rob. I know uh, you're, you're a Bulldog alum. Uh, spent some time as an assistant coach here. Uh, what does it mean to you to be back uh, now, now in charge of the program here for the next year? Um, I, I would say it's uh, probably a dream come true, uh, you know, having the opportunity to coach here uh, for three or four years as an assistant. Um, it, it was awesome to, to you know, get my feet wet as far as coaching goes and uh, especially being an alum and having the opportunity to run here before that. So uh, to be able to come back in the capacity of a head coach is um, something I've always wanted to do and, and Ferris, I couldn't imagine a better spot to, to start. I know uh, you had some experience under Steve Picucci uh, who ran the program until he uh, accepted a, a Division One head coaching job this past summer. Uh, just talk about where the program's at and, and, and what you hope to do uh, here over the next year. Um, you know, Steve, Steve did a great job of recruiting last year. Um, we had 13 incoming freshmen for the men, uh, roughly four for the women. Um, so we are very young. We did lose quite a few people from uh, the previous season. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think we're very strong. We do have a few upperclassmen who have uh, done a great job, uh, you know, through the transition and, and being able to help out with a leadership role on the team and, um, you know, kind of mentoring the younger kids and uh, putting them on the right track uh, through, through the whole transition and everything. So, um, it, it, you know, it's going very well as far as um, early season. And uh, I, I can't, uh, I'd probably say that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to end up doing very, very um, well and, and probably better than, than everybody expects for the transition. Bulldogs kicked off the season uh, this past Saturday, uh, the Ray Helsing Bulldog Invitational 40th running of the event at Khaki Golf Course. And first of all, a great day, beautiful weather uh, for this Invitational. Uh, yeah, it went great. Um, for, again, for the young kids, for them to be able to get their first 8K in, um, especially the men, it's such a big transition from high school where you're just running the 5K. Um, and a lot of them had upped their mileage over the summer. So um, it's great for them to be able to, to race and, and, you know, get that opportunity to understand what it means to, to go from high school running to, to collegiate running. Um, for the women, it's not too much of a transition. Um, they did a great job of running as a, as a pack. And, um, you know, we, we were right behind Saginaw Valley, I would say, as far as the team scoring. It was not a team scored event. Um, but we did have five in the top 12. So, um, you know, we started out the season very strong on both the men's and the women's side. Um, our men's side, we had the overall winner with Kyle Richardson winning the race in the last 100 meters. So, um, you know, it was a great showing for an early meet. Um, kept it pretty low key, nothing too big. Uh, just, again, wanted to give them an opportunity to get back on the course after a summer where they didn't get a lot of racing in. So, As we watch some of the highlights here, uh, women's race uh, here to start off the day. And uh, talk about some of the performances from your women's uh, team and, and maybe kind of who led the way. Uh, Christy Lesage was our first runner. Um, she is a junior this year, um, and she had the, uh, the, the skill and the ability to kind of pull the rest of the younger. Um, we have a lot of sophomores with her. Um, that, that really helped uh, them. They, they looked to her you know, a lot as a leader. Um, and, and we do also have a couple of sophomores who have taken a leadership role as well. Um, a lot of people um, did not necessarily run PRs. Um, but again, this is just kind of a rust buster to, to shake up, um, you know, what they did over the summer and give them an opportunity to do something a little bit faster. Um, here in the men's race, um, it, it was a lot more of a pack. Um, a lot of our freshmen grouped up and ran together. Our upperclassmen, um, as you can see, you know, started early and had a, a huge pack. Um, they did break up a little bit towards the end, um, you know, with we did have six men in the top ten again for, for the men's race as well. So um, it, it was a very good day overall. Uh, for Bulldog Cross Country, um, and it kind of gave them a starting point where that you know they can move forward with the season and uh, you know try to progress as as we get further and closer to November. Men's team ranked 20th in the nation, uh, one of the top teams in the region, uh, returning from the NCAA championships. Uh, talk about that experience that comes back on the men's side. Uh, we have three guys who returned from last year's NCAA championship team: uh, Andrew Harper, Lucas Kopey, and Spencer Gerber. Um, Kyle Richardson is also in and out of our top seven, um, but they, they've had the opportunity for the last two seasons to, to go to the NCAA championships, so um, that's something they're very familiar with, and um, we're, we're kind of hoping to pull the freshmen along if we can get a couple of them to step up and be our number six and seven runner. Um, you know, we, I think we have a, a pretty good shot of doing it again this year. Um, they've all had great summers of training, um, and we're really looking forward to, you know, um, you know, making a big dent this year and, uh, and, and doing well. 
I know on the women's side, uh, maybe a little bit younger team than the Bulldogs have had at times in the past. Uh, when you look back at some of the great All-Americans, Tina Muir, uh, Anna Rudd, Samantha Johnson, uh, just talk about uh, the fact that you've got some younger kids in there and, and what it takes to reach the next level. Um, again, uh, like you said, with, with the lack of um, you know, having those All-Americans, um, it'll be a little bit different year. Uh, this year, it, it'll be more about coming together and, and team running and not so much about maybe having that one or two individuals who is going to step out and be an All-American. Um, you know, I, I can't say for sure whether you know, we'll have a, an All-American or not this year, but um, the big thing is we're trying to become a, a team and, and a pack running um, you know, athletic team that will allow us to um, you know, do, do, the, our, be excuse me, do <laughs> our best. Um, you know, at nationals, um, and, and whether you know that puts five of our girls just out of all American, but tight in a pack. Um, that's something we're looking forward to. Um, obviously, taking a hit from losing those girls in the past couple of years. Um, that's that's something that we try not to focus on. Um, we want our runners who are here now, um, you know, to, to give it their best and, and make the most of their opportunities. So um, we're really just focusing on you know getting the, getting our team as close to nationals as possible. And uh, then we'll go from there and, and kind of figure out what we want to do. I know uh, from your experience as a runner, uh, you've probably seen some some of the courses you'll you'll be on this year. Uh, talk about uh, Khaki Golf Course, uh, the fact that you were able to run on that, and how that'll help prepare you maybe for some of the la races later here in the season. Um, as a general rule, Khaki's a pretty pretty flat course. Um, we do have a few rolling hills, um, but the national course this year is flat. It's down at um, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, Evansville is fairly flat with a couple of rolling hills, so it's very, very similar to, to our course. Um, and again, I, I think that gives them great experience as, as far as um, what they're looking for. Um, the difference there, Rob, will really just be, we'll be going from an 8K to a 10K, so it will be a little bit longer, um, especially for, for the fresh, freshman men. Um, the women will, will go up a 1K and they'll run a 6 instead of a 5, um, so that's not as much of a transition. Um, but the courses are very, very similar to what we ran on, on Khaki, and I would imagine they'd be, you know, in, the, in a pretty similar condition as Khaki Golf Course was this weekend. I know this weekend, uh, off to the Michigan State Spartan Open, uh, what, what do you expect out of that competition here later this week? Um, I, I, we're having our, our full teams run this weekend. Uh, we sat a couple of people here for Bulldog, um, on the men's side anyways, uh, but there's great competitions. It's one of the biggest, best uh, meets in the state of Michigan. Um, very, very good course, very great competition. Uh, I, I would expect that our athletes, um, you know, would, would run a little bit better than they did at our course, just again, because it is a faster course and a little bit tougher competition. Um, as a general rule, we do tend to run a little bit faster there, and that usually is a course where a lot of our athletes get PRs, is Michigan State. Um, but it's great because it's, it's not too far away. Um, it allows us to to go down there and race local competition in several schools from our conference and region. So um, we're really looking forward to the opportunity to run there this weekend and, and, and you know, hoping that it goes well. Well, best of luck out of the Bulldogs this week. Congratulations again on the, on the strong start to the season this past weekend. Thanks a lot, Rob. That's going to do it for this segment. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.